Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here today by request how to get 64DD emulation working under EMUDEC ESDE. Let's get to it. First thing you got to do, of course, is make sure you actually have the appropriate emulator installed and you want to make sure you have the standalone version installed if it was asked for twice. This is Rosalie's Mupin GUI and it's uh, denoted by that weird sort of uh, Nintendo logo over here. There we go. All right, so we have it all installed, so we know that's good. All right. So we're actually done here. We're just doing that as a confirmation. Next up, open the browser of your choice. Go to monroeworld.com slash steam deck slash 64 ddpack.zip. The link, of course, will be in the description below. This is a pre-made pack, so you don't have to go scrounging around for ROMs and a couple of game images to try out. Make sure when you save it to downloads, it has the zip extension. Some browsers will mangle that. And if your browser warns you about something, just say to keep it, it's okay. All right, so now we've got the file. We need to open up the Dolphin File Manager. On the left here, we're gonna to go to downloads where we have our 64 pack. And on the right side, we're gonna to go to our emulation folder, wherever that may be for you. And we're gonna to go to ROMs first. Let's go ahead and right click and extract this auto detect folder. And there we go. So you'll see there's a couple of games in here and the ROM files, the BIOS files that you'll need to do the deed. Now you may be uh, wondering where to put these N64DD, not 64DD, N64DD is where these have to go. You could also put them in with the N64 ROMs if you like, but some people get all crazy about that. Next up, we're gonna go to our BIOS folder. There's also places in there you think you might put them, but you don't, just put them on the root. Actually, you can put them anywhere you want because we're gonna point to them in a minute. But uh, just put them on the root like everything else. Now we're gonna go to the emulator itself, Rosalie's Moop and Gooid. I'm probably saying something of that wrong. Head to settings and then scroll, click, click, click to, D, to 64DD. And we're gonna change each one of these. Obviously we need to go to our BIOS folder here, right? And scooch this over. So we have three of them here for 64DD. And look at that, it just happens to be that we need three of them for the emulator, a Japanese, American, and a development. So we're gonna change these out. Pretty easy to follow along here. One has JP, one has US, and one has dev. Perfect, that's it. Believe it or not, that's the hard part. We're gonna close it up and we are gonna head back to gaming mode where we can try this out in gaming mode proper. We'll go ahead and launch ESDE. Now we copied over two game ROMs, so they should show up proper in the system. Let's scroll over. Yes, they do, 64DD, and there they are. But we're not quite done yet, so hit menu. Go down to other settings, alternative emulators, and then look for N64DD. Change that to, you guessed it, RMG standalone right there, Bengui. And once you've changed it to that, now we're ready to actually try this thing out and see how it works. Now, I'm gonna give you a full disclaimer. I know nothing about 64DD. Uh, everything I've learned about it happened in the last hour. So I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look, if it's behaving correctly, if there's emulation problems. This is not my system of choice, certainly not my emulator of choice. So please uh, limit your questions in the uh, uh, comments down below because I really don't know anything else about this system or how to control it or make it better or fix the sound on Game X or apply some English patch on Game Y. My goal was to get this thing up and running, and as you can see, it is. Just for giggles, let's see how far I can make it in this Japanese UI. Okay, so far I can kind of figure it out. Um, I'm assuming this is sort of like a career thing. Let the computers fight it out. Okay, so far I can kind of make my way through this. Yeah. Okay. So now they should just play, right? Pick a course, that looks good. And there it is. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this or if there's something wrong with the emulation. That seems kind of like a weird dark color to me, but it is running and that's all I promised in this video. So I'm not gonna go in and try to fix anything. But as you can see, it does indeed 
work. It runs. Whether or not it runs right, I couldn't tell you. All right, well, that's enough of that. Let's try the other one. Just boot it up. Saw some shader stuff. Okay, but for a second there, I thought we weren't going to have anything, but it does look like it runs. Well, listen, um, uh, this was suggested by you guys. Uh, thanks for the idea. I'm Shane R. Monroe. If you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Uh, I appreciate uh, all your views and all your comments. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.